republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. No invocation? Okay, let's uh, go ahead and take your seats. I just want to make an announcement. Lynn Govern, um, I asked him to uh, attend the public discussion at the County Safety Building referencing the eminent domain proceedings. So he'll, he's excused for this evening. Um, so moving forward. Okay. Has everyone had a chance to uh, read the minutes? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Like this, anyway. yeah I know, I know. I know. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve them as submitted. Second. Okay, approval. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carry. Okay, floor time. Is there anyone present that would like to stand up and make uh, comments? I will do that. Uh -oh. <laughs> would you uh, turn, face the camera, and state your name, please? Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm B. Bennett, former historian for Walton. Isn't that what he knows? <laughs> yeah. I kind of put you in the limelight a little bit, and people people are going to watch this, so well, they want to know who you are. The, yeah. You should just say, buy my books. Yeah. <laughs> I will say it. Buy her books. You know, they're worth coming today. See? I know. I've been working on. I've been working on one all day today. So, <laughs> well, first of all, I'm going to tell you with uh, the um, company F over here. Is that what they're still called? F company F. Whatever. No, they're they're different. Title, yeah. But, uh, well, anyway, when they went to Iraq, I um, he was my husband nephew. Randy, Colonel Randy Lambert, is, was head over here at the time. Yeah. And Lynn couldn't go, so I decided I guess I have to go. Well, I had, I'm had i the one that had the camera. So I went over, and they had t-shirts for sale, so I bought those, and I picked up some other trophies. And then my neighbors up here and my husband and I, we went on Delaware Street, the bridge across the river, and put up all yellow ribbons, and. There's lots of pictures to here of other people putting up yellow ribbons, and there's there's probably 50, 60 pictures of nothing but soldiers and their families going to Iraq and saying goodbye to them. And they had an uh, eating booth out in the back room, and then in the back of the book is when the boys all came home. So uh, this is going to be down in your archives. Yeah. Not safe forever, I guess. In our archives or historical? Huh? Uh, the the, yeah, for the town, right? Yeah. And we have our own Joe Seta there. We can write to that. I have some pictures of that. I, I didn't deploy with this unit, but uh, that that is, I like that. The only good news there. Yes, that is really really nice. So that will be that will be in stored archives. in our archives, available if somebody wants to look yeah, at it. Yeah, all they got to do is ask Rhonda. Right, okay. And this is the 200th anniversary of the town of Walton in uh, 1997, when the Walton Historical uh, put, put this on. And it shows us having meetings and all the buildings that were decorated up at that time of the year, and all the soldiers. We put a big display up over the theater in the in the judges chambers there and so all of these boys i think if you went through you you'd recognize recognize a whole lot of them i mean they're not alive that's sure but at least they were had their things up here and we sold books out in the front we we had the on from the theater stage we had people talk about different things and if you, you all take the time and just go through there because we had a big parade down on Delaware Street. All of this information, that pictures that I took, are in here. So you're all welcome to look at it. Now that was that was from the Town of Walton Bicentennial. Walton Bicentennial. So 1985? 1997 when the town was, was um, Organized. Oh, okay. Here, well, okay. 1997. It's eight, 1997 is when we did this. Right. 87. So this is the 200th year this year, or is that what you started out? No. 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 Okay. No, because it was 
which was something. Okay. Yeah. So, and then this was 19. The, the village was 1987, I think. The 85, village. that's the date I just said. Yeah, that, that's, I, that's the one the village okay. put yes. out. Yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, but this is the town. So, and this is going to be in your archives also. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you very much. We appreciate well, that. Well, you, you've got everything under heat, uh, heat control, as the Historical Society doesn't have, and I've been pushing them down there, but they've got the money, but I guess I don't rate getting them done. So, Rhonda, they probably will talk to you one of these days. All righty. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, thank, thank you, Mrs. Banner. We you. appreciate that. That is nice. So, you're welcome. If you're uh, interested in looking through the albums, um, Come on over. Yeah, so that's great. So this is after the flood, right? 96. 97, it was way yeah. before the flood, right? Mm -hmm. After the 96, 96 flood. 96 flood. Yeah. yeah. 96 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We can turn the storefronts in there. Yeah. Okay, is there anyone else that uh, would like to have floor time? No? Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Bing. Steve is here this evening. Steve? We like that the whole staff. <laughs> Not Steve. <laughs> Not me anymore. Um, <clears throat> so, code enforcement, um, you all received my report. Um, I don't think I have too much to add to that. Um, Cliff Lane Manager, um, I finally got my credit hours straightened out for going to training. They had me at zero, and then they had me at six, and they finally got me at 12, so I can redo that. Um, so I'll get that taken care of, and we'll be certified again for another two years. Um, How many hours do you have to put in a year? I have to get, uh, for floodplain management, I have to get 16 hours every two years. Oh, okay. So um, usually attending one of the spring conferences, that takes care of 12 of the hours. And Is that the one we split with the village? <clears throat> Yeah, we pretty much split everything with the village. So, um, is there online courses you can take to make up for the four hours? Um, well, they give you credit for being in the uh, state and national associations, two different associations. So they give you credit hours for that as well. Okay. Um, so uh, it's usually not a problem. This year was uh, well, this two-year cycle is just because I missed the previous year because. I was on vacation and whatnot. So, but <clears throat> uh, I got their records straightened out for them, so <laughs> we can uh, we can be covered for another two years. Um, dog control, um, as you're aware, you received my report, um, <clears throat> and as you were aware, I tendered my resignation uh, for that position. And I just want to say thank you for all the work that you have done for it because you have done a lot of work on it and it is a thankless job for the people because it's a good job for the dogs. <laughs> but you've done a good job but understandably you need a break. Yes. Um, couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> so. And I didn't get my dog bite incident in my report. I forgot all about it. So. But it wasn't when you were doing a dog anyway? Was um, when you were doing something else? I was actually doing something else at the time. Yeah. So that doesn't mean that you're going to get away with it next time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, but sincerely, thank you. Yes. Well, it's, uh, um, I have some good stories to tell <laughs> yeah. in the last seven years. They'll go in my book. Yeah, there you go. My book's going to be yeah. all flush and Typically, you don't get called for nice puppies. No. <laughs> Okay, is that it? Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, our highway report. Well, a few things. <clears throat> On the stormwater grant, uh, they're going to start tomorrow. That's the one that through the grant through the CWC. Go out and look at all our culverts, sluice pipes, conveyances, and that. We're going to start the field work tomorrow. And there's 90 plus four foot in diameter of larger pipes that they're going to inventory. If we have a kind of an inventory on them. But See if they're hydro or take measurements, and then they'll pictures and what have you, catalog all that, and then they'll go back to the office and run some numbers to see if they're 
the right size or not. And hopefully that will lay the groundwork for some the ones that need to be done. I know there's some that are undersized out there. There's probably quite a few. On the shape, I don't think we're going to find out they're in terrible shape. But there's a lot of culvert pipes out there. They're figuring there's about 90 of them. Some of them are county maintained, that it shows up on the inventory of Anything over 20 feet from vault, <coughs> excuse me, from vault to wall will be is maintained by the county. So hopefully that will move along. Have a year to get that done. By the time we got all the contracts and all the paperwork signed, it was almost spring, I think. So they're moving. It took a lot of information that I had. We're also going to be in contact with county planning and DPW to formulate all that into spreadsheets and come up with a plan. Who's so doing this survey? CMS company out of uh, Syracuse. They've done other stormwater grants for us years ago. Last month, we talked about Bonnie Farm Road, and you told me I probably ought to go up there and cut the chain. Well, when I went up there, I didn't have to cut the chain. The chain was down. They're doing some work on the roof, and I have not met the individual there, but we've had a phone conversation. He just was not aware that he, couldn't, he didn't like people coming down there parking. I guess coming in at high rates of speed because he was concerned for his children that were there, walking across his property, towing kayaks and access to I told him there were some other options, and he was up on the weekend or whenever he was going to be up again to give me a call in advance and we'd meet, and I hadn't heard from him since. So I say that would probably put to bed for now. Well, can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, was it, that house that's down there right now, is that the one that used to be the railroad station? I think Cause so. I just, I, wrote a, I just read about it, that there was a railroad station there. I know, I know the railroad ran along in through there someplace. It showed in the tax map when I brought it up that there was what appeared to be its, um, the owner said municipal in it. I'm thinking that's where the railroad was through in that area someplace. Yeah, it did. Must be along the river. Yeah, it is yeah. right, right next. It's a beautiful location. It's a nice, well maintained. Yeah. A lot of towns. I know you were telling me some. Isn't that where they typically call Colchester Station? Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Years and years ago, that used to be the way to get to down. So right. There was the bridge across there. That yeah. was the main road across the bridge, yeah. That's before my time. I told him yeah. that my yeah. folks used to go to the, the house that's there now, my folks used to go to square dances on the upper floor. Hmm. That's way back in the early 19, 1920s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to date yourself. <laughs> that's all right. And we've been talking about purchasing a backhoe here for a while, and the grant, I'm not sure exactly where they are. My understanding is probably got a grant for sure to get that. I don't know if we wanted to move forward with that. Or is that a building or a new well, thing? Well, the state bid right now, Kevin and I looked at that. Um, Caterpillar is a state bid. New Holland, Kubota, Case was not. If we were to get a comparable uh, Caterpillar backhoe, it's basically the same size horsepower within two or three same features in the state bid, $95,659. As of, oh, I got this probably a month or two ago, but I don't know if we hold on that. You now, the grant for $75,000 is not enough to, to cover that. Completely. But this is a brand new, this isn't something This is brand new, correct. But we don't have to go out and bid if we do this. If you wanted to, to yep. go with Caterpillar. One thing about Caterpillar, they've, they've been around a long time. We have cat loading, we've had good luck with that. Parts are available with some of the, I know with one of those little, couple of those older case wheel excavators we had, as we were looking for parts for those, they were, not, they were not available. Found them on eBay or somebody had, some dealer had a part sitting on a shelf. Think of old part versus Chevy. It was, it, you know, they, after 10 years, they aren't by law required to, to buy, to make parts for them. So it's whatever's in it. For a caterpillar, I'll bet you the first thing that came off the line, you they could probably get. still get part. Yeah, is, this, uh, is this extend a hole? Yes, it is. Four wheel drive? Four wheel drive, yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a picture of that. I mean, if you want to read all the. I've looked through um, the boom stick and linkage, the powertrain, the hydraulics, the electrical. They're, it's comparable to what we have. I'm just waiting yeah. for the grant um, because we did apply for one amount and uh, were awarded another. 
um, we actually had to change it so we could have, um, put all that we were awarded and apply it towards the backhoe. So I just have to wait for that documentation to come back signed. And I, I mean, I'm no, we're no real rush to get it. Right. The other backhoe is 15 years old. We got that in 2002. Ooh, 15, 16 years old. And I still think there's a little bit of value in it. How much value? I look at the auction site. I'm thinking we should be able to get in the neighborhood of 20 to 25,000, which would, with the grant and that, would mm -hmm. probably be a, eventually be a wash. But I know the grant to get the money back from them, the state sometime is not quite as quick as right. we'd like to have. Right. And I mean, I'm not looking for an answer. I'd just like to keep the conversation right. going. Okay. On that. But when is, as far as timing, what time of year would be the best time to purchase it? Bid, well, no, to bid out the old one. Oh. You, you follow what I mean? Yeah, if yeah, somebody's yeah. looking for a backhoe in the fall, I don't know that. If I, you follow what I mean? I know exactly. if, it, if it's the fall, then let's act on it. We did the same so, thing with the right. rainbow. We went in the fall and didn't like the prices. Thought we'd wait till the springtime. It appeared. And say we got a little bit more. Yeah. But and we can, we can. It doesn't cost us anything to put on auctions international. You know, once if we get to that point, we can do it. If this, that will we ought to give them this whole off and leave. Yeah. Okay. So we do it again. We've done that before, yeah. and sometimes we've done great. And other times. We haven't done quite so great. Yeah. But on any kind of auction site, you need at least two people that are interested in the same piece of equipment or whatever being auctioned to have. What's the turnaround time? That I don't know. So if you ordered it? I would say probably a couple months. Okay. I would think. I don't know. Like with the boom it was almost a year. Didn't get into that with them. Right. When, being when it's on a state contract, it's probably right we use it more in the summer, but we do use it in the winter. Um, when a culvert gets iced up or something, that's you might need it. Yeah, to try to go out and pound on that, it's not like it's 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 no rush. It's not really rough. We don't have we have something that's operating yeah. and still, but like I say, 15 years old, and while it still has some value, I think it would be time. To <coughs> so I can let you know as soon as we get that yeah. documentation. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, before next month, we'll know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but well, let just. If you get the documentation tomorrow, what's the board's desire? Do we move forward yeah. with it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. I don't have a problem. With it. I then I. Would. I mean, while, while my only question is, like Walt said, there's sometimes there's a delay. Do we have the money to cover it? Because we may get awarded the grant, but it might be six months a year before. We well, the last grant we got was. Uh, well, that a different fund. Well, I know, but still. Um, the, that was the timing 2014. of the grants. Yeah, 2014. <laughs> we just got the money, so uh, would after the first of the year be better? I, I don't. That I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, because of the short time um, frame to get the reports done, the printout of all the um, line codes, I did not get to that today. I'd suggest so, wait until we see. I mean, they're at least there's no no big rush. As long as we know that money's going towards that purchase, well, we can wait. Yeah, because okay. I can probably have so, that report yeah. to you by the end of the week. You know, but yep. we can look at that. So we know what to focus on yep. for this time in September. You know, we can have those figures and a, a, I, think, I mean, we talked about this back several right. months ago. Yep. Right. Yep. So a, mo a more defined plan to bring up a motion for next month. Yep. Mm -hmm. That sounds with good. With aggregate figures. That, yeah. Okay. You're good with waiting. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That would be no problem. Okay. I just, in one sense, kind of like to do it in this fiscal year. I don't think it really makes much difference mm -hmm. either. Because I'm not planning on there was what seventy five. We've used some of the new equipment money. We bought the uh, that silver auto. So out of the seventy thousand dollars that was budgeted for new equipment, we used eight hundred dollars and forty three cents for that. We've been talking about this for over a year now. Yeah. We got the grant confirmation that we're getting awarded. Yeah. Let's move. Let's not procrastinate. Let's move. It's, you know, yeah. well, actually, another month probably wouldn't. But another month, right? Okay. If we can get it done this fiscal year. Yeah. And while we're on from that same conversation, and that was uh, about processing grit, another large amount of grit. You know, I was thinking ten thousand. We've yeah. got a, right now. There's enough money in the budget to do probably about half that. And we've had that conversation. 
So I'd be looking to, if there was any way of the sort of, usually, last year we did it like the end of August, beginning of September, as Clark came in, they were the low bidder for making that. Be looking for like $45,000 to $46,000 to add to that. Okay. Well, what my thought was, is as far as not, is taking the, the equipment money that we weren't going to be spending towards the backhoe, but if we're going to be waiting for the money but to get, that would be, that could be transferred to that other line item would be sufficient to cover that. So if we don't get the backhoe? With that grant, yes, we can do both of those. If we had the money right now, we If we had the money right now. Right. We have to wait. And but I think, it, to me, it's more important with that, get, with that the only thing on the project? Um, it may go quicker, you know, but I just have to wait until we get that right. signed document that, yes, it's been approved, you know, through all the state's end. But I, I think it's more important. The backhoe, yes, is, to me, is important, but getting the grit for the reasons we talked yeah, yeah. before, not going to get any cheaper. Um, I don't know if that's something that's, if not this month, I'd like to have an answer. Okay. We're going to plan on doing some, but if there was after funding, it sounds like we won't know that until end of September. Mm -hmm. Until we know. Yeah. Um, and for, I wrote down here budget, I see that's farther on in here, talking about yeah. getting started on that. Um, but what my thoughts were to cover the, uh, for the next couple of years of putting up the winter of races, that amount, is to cut back on, the, on my request for new equipment and take the money so that the budget, when you get to the bottom line, the DA, the numbers are the same, to do that for a couple of years and get that. And then what my thought would be, I'd be coming back, or someone would be coming back. After that, looking to take the money that we've been putting into the grid and put that back into equipment. Right now, I think our equipment's in pretty good shape, but if you go a year or two without replacing it before you know it, you're behind the eight ball again. It's right. something that you need to to keep going. Maybe not a large item, but some of the smaller items still need to, to keep investing into replacing that. Unless the highway department's going to go out of business. But I mean, if you see that happen, as long as there's people around here, they're going to be, they're going to be looking for, yeah. for that. And with that, with the, some of the road money, the chips, the ninth was a, the final date for this portion. Um, all that paperwork has been submitted. So hopefully next month we'll be getting a couple hundred thousand dollars towards that. And then for the December payment for the, we don't have the checks back, just for approved paying the rest of the year to do that. So I guess that's all I have. And pardon me for my voice, I haven't felt that great today. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are doing, but they're doing Nothing. a good job down there. Why, making the road wider, I don't think that, they're not really making the road wider, they're just no. making. Over the years, the shoulders build up yeah. and the water doesn't drain off. Yeah. And stuff, but that has made the difference. I, I'm seeing that on South River. I'm sure they're doing it on other roads too. But yeah, um, they're doing a good job. Thank you. The roads have been planning on. Uh, we've got some puddles yet that you can see. We've got some tough truck work to do. I'm not sure if they're quite done with that. I haven't been on that today, but then head for East down head for East River Road. The roads we're planning on that next year is the uh, for five years for the ceiling. So. I, I haven't been told that they were just doing it this morning when I left for work and. And up on that on my end. They're coming down the road, but anyway, it's South River Roads. Uh, huh? South River Roads is pretty important. And well, it's got more traffic than you think. But yes, it is. Yes. It is surprising. Uh, the traffic is dusty. Yes, yes. It is. Yes. Yes. Especially Frank and Val. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. I, I wasn't going there. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but, oh, uh, first year that I was appointed highway superintendent, we paid part of that. Yeah. Because yeah. right. The yeah. one that I took over for, I had that written down, and yes. I got asked when I was moving. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> understand until I took it. So I figured that people should understand that if it's going to be sealed, you know, the first year and the last year, you know, so we get that sealed next year, and then somebody else can talk about it. But I'm, I'm referring to yeah. the link to, right. oh, to the southern. To the other side. Yeah. yeah. It's surprising yeah. how much traffic it, I mean, they did do traffic counts that are a little bit older on a non-fair week and then fair week. Yeah. It's a, there's oh, certain it's times of the day and night during fair week that it's exponentially more than the normal. It really rises. Oh, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Well, 
this week at, weekend it was the National Guard her getting their equipment up and bringing it up and down the road. Great guys. They're great guys. <laughs> okay. They didn't stop at my wallet sale though. That was the only problem. That's who was on the road. <coughs> Those guys typically don't have <laughs> lawn sales. <laughs> That's the thing. They were the only ones on the road. Nobody else was using it to this weekend. Okay. <laughs> and I wanted them. Right. Okay, Rhonda. All right, um, you should have my financial report. And um, there's actually a couple of um, use of facilities. The first one is for an insurance representative. Um, he typically uses our uh, boardroom here on an annual basis, and this is um, his time to cover um, Medicare um, health care for seniors. So that's going to be October 18th, November 8th, and November 22nd. That's um, for the public? Yes. And that's, um, he requests 2.30 to 4.30, and I'm usually here still at that time, so um, that's not a problem with me closing up. And then we also have another one for um, the Chamber of Commerce would like to do a free concert at Veterans Plaza on September 15th. So I would just need approval for those two. So moved. Second. Second. We got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Carried. Okay. Yep. For all three. Uh, yeah, we're, we're not doing that individually. For the two, correct. Or for the two. Right. Yes. Yep. 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 Um, and then, um, as we spoke just um, earlier, the award for the 75000 for the purchase of the backhoe, we received um, the letter stating that the town has been awarded that. I just need to wait until we get the signed contract from the state. And then I'll let you know as soon as I get that. Um, currently, we are out to bid for the roof repairs. Um, and when I submitted that legal notice, we had it that we would um, re or award the bid at the uh, August 13th meeting. But we had changed that after that legal notice went out. So I just want to know um, I can contact the contractors. Um, and we can award it next month at that meeting instead of having a special meeting. Right. That's fine with yep. everybody. Yep. Okay. Um, do we need to do it quicker because the roof is bad enough? Or um, no. Um, We've got it patched enough. That if, as long as right. Joe keeps going out and putting the tarp back where it has to be, we'll be okay. <laughs> well, survive. It was leaking last week when during that really heavy torrential yep. rain, but okay. it wasn't. It's usually no different than it has been. Right, right. So, right. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I have is the Heart of the Catskill um, dog control um, contract that we do on an annual basis. I received this after our June meeting, um, but this is, we would need approval to enter into this agreement as an annual basis, and this is the $40 fee um, that they collect you know, for each dog that's taken up. So we need to move that? Yep. I so move it. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. Okay. That's and typically you've been doing that for years. Yeah. Yes, we yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I know there's something going on. Let me just go through my stuff. Oh, um, just for our meeting, um, opening up my mail. We had received a $50,000 grant that I had written, and um, that was for the purchase of the Husqvarna lawnmower and the salt shed roof. We received documentation back from the state to start the final process of that, so that may be something that will come in this year as well um, for $50,000. And that was purchased last year, 2017. So this one's much sooner. Salt shed roof and you, is, is that yeah, no, we did it though. You already yeah. did it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just that was, just, yeah, this yeah. is just the money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that the, that I'm assuming that was the original roof then? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 We have a little bit of life left in it, but not much. Not no. old though. Yeah. I'm thinking twenty years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a twenty year thing. Like right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's all I have. Okay. Thank you. Uh, did everyone uh, receive uh, assessor report? Assessor report. Yep. Any questions on that that I can get back to? <laughs>
system. Mm -hmm. Okay, first thing on my report, I know it, Rod has told me it's been talked about for a couple of years anyways, but no one ever really acted on it. Well, we're going to act on it. September 10th, be here about 5.30, no later. I was on time. What time is that? What day 17.30 for you. Um, September 10th, the next board meeting. The the next board meeting. We're going to do a town council picture, formal picture. Oh, oh the picture. Five thirty. <laughs> can you make it? I can't make it. <laughs> I don't. I don't get to work till five. Yeah, that's the thing about it. Right, just before. Okay. Before six, we can. We, we can delay. No, no, no. You're going to be in it. You have the longest serving councilman, so you got to be in it. But it'll be the first one. From what you understand, right? Yep. Uh, I know the Any village. Any particular is... attire? What's that? Any particular attire? We're gonna get shirts. Whatever you want your photo in. Because <laughs> well, yeah, the That photo, that photo, and many more will be going down in history up on the wall somewhere. Okay. So how you want people to remember you in 50 years <laughs> dictates your attire. Okay. Wow. <laughs> 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 now, what, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of follow what the village lead. It'll be the council, myself, and uh, council. Town council and council. So. Um, Yippee skippy. <laughs> <laughs> Whose bright idea was this? Yours, Joseph? <laughs> well, I was talking with Rhonda about it, and she, she was really excited. You know, we talked about that years ago, and nobody ever did it. Because it. Are you in this? Actually, we started back when, <laughs> yes, John, yes, yes, oh, yes. when John Meredith first talking about it. it. Yeah, and we just never, never followed up with it. So I mentioned it. And Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Can I see something? I think it's a great idea. John Mer Meredith wanted me to do them way back when they first started here in 1700. And there's no pictures in the, no. any of the newspapers. Where do you find them? I even called some of the families and they never responded. So you're without them. So I think it's about time we start. All right. Tradition. Start a tradition. All right. And there's no vote. This is what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the <laughs> Okay. Um, everyone got a copy, as, as Steve mentioned before, uh, the resignation. And again, yes, thank you for that service for how many years? Seven or eight years, you said? Yeah, uh, like seven years. Yeah. Um, yeah. This, I'll tie on with what Patty said. That's a, that's a tough job. However, <laughs> now, who wants it? <laughs> well, you got to let me continue. I spoke with um, Bill Layton, actually, and I asked him who, he's Tom Tompkins, who does his dog control, and he gave me this name, and I called her up, and she came right the next day. She came in the next day. Ron and I sat down with her. She was really excited. Um, she had been doing nine towns. She currently does five, but she's still looking to reduce. So she's not committing to um, a full-time DCO for Town of Walton. However, she said she would fall in an emergency if needed. Uh, so and she's qualified and trained. And, and let me just preface the next point. We did get someone come in and pick up an application for that position. But I would um, request someone make a motion that, number one, we advertise for that position. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Oh, no, doing more than one thing in this motion. Well, right? yeah, I, I, I'll, oh. yeah. So, yeah, we can make, you made a motion, I'll second, yeah, we advertise for the position. Motion made, seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <clears throat> and that will go in the paper for 
Um, a week, two weeks? Uh, typically two weeks. Two weeks is what we typically advertise for? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Two, until we, until we get that position filled, I would like someone to make a motion that we hire Julie Lockwood as our temporary DCO in emergencies only. What, what encompasses that emergency? Um, she would. Yeah, she, she, she said she it. would she, explain what. She would tell us whether yeah. that was a true emergency. Right. Um, a dog running alongside the road is not an emergency. Right. If the dog right. is causing a traffic hazard, that's an emergency. Or if so the dog she, is biting somebody. Yeah. Biting somebody, that type of stuff. Causing, yeah, human. The dog is on the town's school playground, is that an emergency? If the kids are out there, and that could be an emergency. It could be, but they would be quicker to call the law. Yeah. You follow what I mean? Right. So, that, I'm just asking because that happened, and I, I could. He just wasn't there. So we Typically, if we get a call, correct me if I'm wrong, it usually comes into your office, and yes. Rhonda's going to have to determine if that's an emergency. Is the local police uh, equipped to, you know, with a stick and a leech and all that to put the I don't animal mean, in? I don't think they, they, they don't have a catch pole now, no. but they will respond. Yeah. I know. But, uh, and I called them today, and they said um, to please quickly hire someone. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's that's the whole thing about it. That you know, I maybe we should do a little cross training with the pole and uh, and have a canner in the back of their vehicle. I I don't think the village police force will even entertain that. Um, uh, it's not like uh, they have a choice. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like it, somebody, some, somebody, somebody, well, technically they do or don't. Technically, they don't have a choice. Right. Hagen Market's law says a dog control officer and any police officer shall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, 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 so what I'm saying is that we need to have that conversation stated because this lady is not going to, where she lives at? Uh, yeah, with, uh, Wells, Wells Bridge. Wells Bridge. Yes. That's Wells the only thing I was concerned about, the time frame of this. And we still have our equipment here that and we have a catch roll. So yes. if they needed to use a catch roll, they, yeah, yeah, they could come here and right. get it. And, yeah. yeah. But so, so what I'm saying is, you know, they can always shoot the dog, but if, it, if it's a vicious animal or something like that, but on the other side, uh, they catch for the pole and the, the canner in the back of it, or the canner should be available to them to come and pick it up, put it in the car and go and get the animal, you know, type of situation. But they, they need to assume that role for public safety wise until we hire somebody. It could be six months before we have somebody in there. And, and, and we, you know? did, we did discuss that with her, and she's willing to do... She's willing I, I to help understand that she is where. Where is this place you do that? Well, Wells Bridge. Which is where? Oh, like Unitigo. Yeah, yeah, I mean... It's, it's, it's 30, 40 minutes. You yeah. see the dog, you're going to sit there and wait for her to come all the way from there? <laughs> no. So, and what so, is the rate we would have uh, well, let's uh, kind of discuss that. that. I'm, I'm figuring, and it would be, exactly. Steve, how many emergency situations would there be over the course of six months? I don't think it was. Uh, yeah, I mean, you might have. Oh, okay. I'm thinking you might have to be. Oh, her wage? wage? Oh, okay. All right. Never mind. But at how many? We'll, we'll discuss that. How many is in session? Executive session. How many instances? Right. right. Four or five. Okay, so it's not a high number. Yeah, it's not like every dog calls an emergency. Right. I'm sure it's not. But well, you're looking at a response, response when it time is an emergency. More, than, more than an hour. Mm -hmm. Because by the time you pick up the phone call her, she may be doing something else. Right. And so I when is this emergency going to be dealt with? Right. What, what I'm saying is that and I she don't think this, other this lady is going to be of any use to us. I rather have the police be more involved with it than this lady because by the time she responds to this, uh, especially if she has five other towns that she's working. Well, exactly. she, what she's also saying is that um, she would be the one utilized as well if, um, say, the police catch a dog, and then it's back she in the can shed. right, and, and then, then she can transport it. She's got keys to um, the humane site. She can transport it 
or if a dog has to be chased. I, I understand that, but yeah, you know, the, 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 the emergency, the emergency is, is right. already over by that time. So, because the animal would be already in custody. So, right, but we don't have a person that's going to do that without her. Now, if it's an animal, right. if it's an animal, yeah, you do. I'm telling you, the police had the responsibility. Well, they'll bring it here, but they won't transfer it. I'm just saying, we don't have somebody her. that's going to transfer it. Have the here police possible. ever, to your knowledge, been involved with catching dogs? Oh, yeah. Oh, they have, okay. Yeah. And the response has been. Usually favorable. I mean, it's they'll uh, catch them, but they bring them here. I had a good working relationship with them because you know they helped me, I helped them. And, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, a lot of times if they couldn't get a hold of me, I mean, it happened just in the last month. They couldn't get a hold of me immediately. They had somebody found a dog somewhere, brought it to the police station, and uh, they know to you know, how to access the garage to put the dog out there. Okay, so so it, there is a. Avenue but that's, that that's been local used. village police. Correct. Now, sheriff's department. On the other hand, they might they're probably not as familiar with the fact that we have a place to put a dog. Um, but again, but again, within the public safety, is part it falls within part of the responsibilities. Right. So if you have a rabid dog biting people in town, there's no time to wait. Something has to be done with the dog now. Now, when, once you catch it and you have it on the leech, if you want to take six months to take it to that high, I don't care. But the animal has to be caught. And that's that's the part that I think that we really need to think about the police. Obviously, we're going to try to do our diligence to get somebody before that. Right. But, yeah. but we do have somebody who, who has the responsibility within their job description to do this. And that's called the policeman. But they need to have the tools. So we need to be, make those tools available to them if they don't have them on their own because they should never have to go and buy a pole. We have all that stuff equipment. We just need to make sure they have keys to the place, the pole that they can take a cannon with them, throw in the back of the same thing if they throw a person in the back there, they can put a cannon in there. So that doesn't mess their their vehicle up. Do they have that equipment? Or do they borrow ours when needed? Well they've they've never borrowed ours. Okay. Best of my knowledge they don't have that equipment, no. Okay. So we'll have to yeah. we'll have to make arrangements. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we're moving forward on the vacant position, that's good. Okay. Um, I, I still think in the interim, we should, we should, for liability reasons, have someone available I think we in need to case. talk about it in an executive session because I right. think it's going to depend on the price. Right, yeah. and, and, and we will, but I just, I just want yeah. to do that. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I just want the public question. to know that we're moving forward with the vacant dog control okay. officer position, that we're not going to... You would like to apply. Well, that's that was one of the other things I had on the agenda is the this afternoon or was that this morning? A uh, lady came in this morning. who worked at the uh, at the vet uh, Dr. Plants's office that picked up an application for that. That's nice. So, um, Somebody with animals. So more to follow on that. Um, This week, uh, last week, actually, um, David Bloodgood from Nimer, he came in and did our risk control survey. Uh, he walked around this facility. It's once a year, right? Then he met Walt down at his facility. Um, so we expect a report within the next week or two of what he found and we'll act on. Any bad things? No, uh, verbally, he didn't didn't say anything you know he asked me a bunch of questions on policies and all that stuff so I answered them uh, what I could and we had the policy book upstairs and all that um, well any anything from your visit down at the you like to tell the public what Nymer is you it's our insurance, insurance reciprocal uh, we have to New York State New York New State York, the municipal insurance reciprocal. right, right. Not with that acronym so they cover our liability for 
on the job injuries and yeah. uh, other people getting hurt with the property. He has a few questions, a couple pictures. What there? <coughs> yeah. So it was, uh, I think, a favorable inspection, but we'll get the we'll get the written report every year. Every year there's something. It's like an OSHA comes every year. There's right. Something. Yeah. Okay. Last month I did report on, we got a, uh, a verbal on our state equalization rate. We did receive that letter confirming um, that we're at 100%. And I, you know, I was talking to Fran, um, one, of, one of the intents that we should, you know, look at is keeping that rate at 100%. What, what do we need to do to keep that rate at 100%? Because in the long run, I think municipalities that maintain that 100% uh, equalization rate, um, it's, well, we it's more favorable. Good, uh, it's assessor now, so we'll, he'll say on top of it, help us do that. Yes, yes. Um, it's, it, it's pretty detailed, too. Uh, there's a lot of work in that, an extreme amount of work. Um, but more to follow on that. My understanding is that we have agreed to our friends uh, assess what would it take for him to maintain a hundred percent and communicate that back to us going forward so we can enable him to do right hundred yeah. percent. So that, that's, that decision has already been done uh, on the board, you know, so. Yeah. Okay, we also got a letter from the Office of Community Renewal letter. Uh, you want to explain this? I think you can explain it, Baron. Yeah, yeah, this um, is familiar. We established um, a few resolutions, um, policies that we had just recently done and approved. That was part of this audit. Um, they wanted to make sure that when money comes in, that we are taking it out um, quickly and turning it back over to Delaware Opportunities, who um, is the administrator of our programs. And in order to do that, we had to establish um, a resolution. Um, there was another one on um, the, um, the, no, if there was an grievance, if uh, you know somebody applied and somebody had to agree something, we had to establish who was going to be in charge, and that would be the board. So we had to do that one as well. So now, with all of them done, we have met all the. Um, requirements for that audit. Yeah, let me, let me just read this sentence. I think it's important. The town must ensure that corrective actions or procedures noted are incorporated into all future New York State CDBG funded grant programs. This letter serves as confirmation that the town has resolved all monitoring concerns with respect to this project. So, um, whatever monies came in, they went out and we were inspected, the town was inspected, and we passed. So we can get yeah, good point. Comply. Okay. All right. Um, last month I sent a letter to the uh, Teamsters Union rep, um, Roberta, Roberta Dunker, um, letting her know that we'll discuss it at our next meeting on a date that we want to start moving forward with that. So, um, I understand Kevin and Charlie mm -hmm. were involved with those contract negotiations uh, last time. So, Kevin will, I, I discussed it with Kevin, he'll, he'll sit on those negotiations and I'll sit on those negotiations. But, uh, you know, I will make contact with Roberta to set up a date for the, you know, first face to face, um, I don't want to say interview, but. Uh, I guess interaction. first face-to-face -face interaction, yes. Uh, so, and I'll, and I'll do that this week or next week. Many good times. Yeah. So, okay, and the last thing I have is uh, the 2019 budget. Um, I'd like to say, I know it's still four months out, but no, five months out, right? August, September, October, November. Yeah, five months out. It isn't too early to start discussing that. We should set a date for, you know, the first uh, round of discussions on our budget. Um, so, 
anybody have a recommendation on when we should sit down and what, what typically have you been doing? Well, um, there's requests that we will be sending out. We typically do them in September and we have okay. a guideline that we follow through the town association. Okay. It's in the town law book. So we will follow that. Um, so September they'll go out and then we'll wait for them to come back. Once we have them compiled from the departments of what they see as okay. things yeah. that they need, then we can utilize that. So um, I don't it's typically the end of the month that we get them back. So probably, you know, the end of September or beginning of October, we can look at start to compile that. Okay, but so but so we send out. What do we send out at the beginning of September? In in September, um, it's a basically. It's clear like a like a big thing. Like, what do you want? Oh, okay. yeah. Right. Well, with their what do you want to request? Yeah, what they had last year. Your wish oh, list, right? Yeah. Is that what is that what it is? Um, So, budget officer furnishes heads of administrative units, departments, and officials with estimated forms. That's um, done by September 1st. Okay. And then depart, they have until September 20th to submit that, you know, return them. And then the budget officer reviews and prepares a tentative budget by September 30th. Right. Okay. So this isn't too early to start talking nope. about this. So, thank you. Thank you. Right. For so, uh, Carly provided us with that. It just gives it gave me a better uh, mindset of the process and the dates. So Walt's <laughs> already, got his, already got his budget done. <laughs> so explains uh, from back to the last thirteen years. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not taking that yet. No. So, yeah. Oh, this is just something I I, have, um, I shut that off. I swear to you, I did. I yeah. Did it yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, probably so, September meeting. Right. And, 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 and that was the intent of that bullet is just to, hey, it's August, the fair's next week, and time will fly, and everybody's busy. School will be starting soon, and uh, Patty will be happy. Um, so, I just wanted to put that back on the table that budget discussions will be starting soon, also. So, and that concludes my report, unless anybody has a question. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I got to give you a little bit of the county update. I talked to, uh, um, oh, let me preface. Again, that mental health, or not mental health, the eminent domain public discussion is happening even as we speak, and Lynn's covering that. Um, and I'm not sure what the intent following this meeting will be, but uh, the next meeting is the 22nd. And I'll, I'll let you. I'll email you with what I think. When Lynn covers forward. that, he's covering that in order to tell us what the people that are there think. Is that basically? Uh, the I felt it prudent that the town of Walton has a representative there. Um, to get and, and you know he'll let me know what was the what was the feel and the intent of the uh, the people that uh, speak up there, uh, and he'll he'll give me a, a good brief back on that. Are you looking to do some kind of a resolution from us at some no, point after that? No, not yet. Um, not not, not at point. this point. No. So you're going to wait um, and hear what the people had to say and etc. And then we'll move on it if we feel we need to. Yeah, I. I on a town level, because really it's not our town. It's no, we're right, only no, one yeah. town um, in the thing. It's not like we can make the decision. But right, and I, I don't believe that. And we, we should vote the first decision. Right, we should be you know leading that forefront with the rest of the towns because I haven't heard anybody else from any other town with that feeling that you know the township, their township, is going to do a resolution. So. Um, well, we, our township didn't vote in that resolution in that anyway from, for circumstances. Right. So I don't know that we are the ones to be leading that any either. Right. Yes. And certainly, if other towns yes uh, chime in, I think we should. But we'll know yeah. more of that tonight. Oh, after tonight. Definitely, definitely no more. Um, <clears throat> and you know, I've got a meeting with Mark Tuttle uh, Wednesday. Uh, I'll get his feeling of what he felt at that too so I'll you know I'll discuss it with of course Lynn
and then the other supervisors and what uh, what is the gut feeling on moving forward? What's what's there? Um, and when is your next? Twenty second is the twenty second is the DPW committee meeting and let me just check my calendar just to make sure. Yes, twenty second is the county board meeting and prior to that is, is, the, so it's is the DPW meeting. Yes, uh, so. More to follow on that. Again, I, I have spoke to a number of residents, uh, both for and against. Uh, mostly against, I'll, I'll say that. But there have been a few people that have said, you know, if that's what the county needs, that's what the county needs. Uh, but before anything else happens, uh, you, you guys will give me guidance on your innermost thoughts on that. And uh, speaking of Mark Tuthill, I talked to him today. Uh, mental health clinic, the, they're, they're still gathering more information to start the seeker process. Uh, but once they get all that information, they don't anticipate the seeker process taking that long. Now, is there so, a contract for purchase on this? I don't believe so at this time. What does that mean? Uh, uh, that's a question I'm going to ask, yes. Um, I know there's been an agreed upon price. I've heard that too, but, but I haven't there's seen there's anything, anything where there's anything in writing. Do yet, you get so. that? When, no, it doesn't have anything to do with you because it's a county thing, not a town thing. So you won't see it when that happens, or you will see it. It's a courtesy thing. Frank Wood represents the seller. Okay, so we'll know if it happens. I'm, yeah, I'm a little conflicted um, out here. But we'll, but we, but we do know that that's true. That we don't have. There's not a contract. The county, uh, I, I maybe you can't tell me if, if, it, if yeah. it is. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's um, fine. Yeah, I have not seen a contract. I'm a little concerned uh, with that, with the goings on of what's going on now. That they said yes, this is where we're doing it. This is the analysis. This is what it is. This is how much it is. But there's not actually contract in here. Right. So what's going on at the county level that there isn't a contract? That's my question, and I, I know you. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I, as a matter of fact, I will ask that. Um, last month's mental health clinic, our mental health committee meeting was canceled, <coughs> so. Um, so you couldn't get an answer. Anymore. I wouldn't have gotten an answer anyways, but I can I can make a call and tomorrow, and I'll I'll let you guys, everybody know tomorrow. Okay. Yes or no? Uh, but I'm. I would have heard. If, well, I kind of thought that it was, but I only just heard this week that there wasn't. So, I don't know what, what was the deal with the other DPW site that they gave $160,000 and so take it off the market kind of thing before they did all of the testing and blah, 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 and that's one of the things with bishops that they didn't offer them any money before the seekers or the other, right? So, I, I don't want to run into the same kind of thing. That's what I'm saying. I want to know. This is what we announced. This is we didn't announce. The county right. announced. Let's let's have our eyes dotted and our T's crossed and do it the right way. Yeah. There was a there was again just to the bishops approached the county. Said this is what I want. We're not talking about mental health now. We're talking about the I'm, BBW. I'm, I'm I'm talking about there was some kind of a side and deal. You're talking about the, for the, the, for the process the at the right. county level. Right. Right. right, and you don't I'm want not hearing that, that there's that process with Tim at this level and waiting for this seeker, but nothing is in writing. I mean, they've announced that that's where it's going, and, that, and they've agreed on a price, but there's nothing in writing. So I don't understand why there's nothing in writing if they've already gotten that far, you know what I'm saying? Before they do the seeker. I, I would think the seeker would have to be done first before they actually sign a contract, because once you sign a contract, you're committed. And if the seeker comes back unfavorably, then is well, the you think you have some kind of a letter of intent, like you know, uh, I, I don't know. I, yeah. maybe, maybe I'm wrong, and I, it's not like that on the county level. Like I mean, if you, you put a binder would, down on a house, then you get your, you know, your, your asbestos, product. your what you know, you get all those things, but you have a commitment. Right, but we don't know whether there is or not. I've heard that there is not. Yeah, but um, we, we hear, don't know. We hear lots right. of stuff. Yeah. So, but I will, I will find out and let you guys know. I've heard it from a 
pretty reliable source, which yep. makes me think that it is not. But that's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, I just don't want it to be again, another mess. I, I think that process, they're, they're still gathering all the pertinent data to continue with the seeker, mm -hmm. or to start the seeker. Um, and that's that, that just takes a lot of time. Uh, and I think the eminent domain issue has greatly overshadowed the other I'm process. Sure they've, they've been kind of so kind of it's been kind of quiet on the mental health. Um, I feel confident it's still going to move forward. Uh, there's no reason why it wouldn't, in my mind. Um, but uh, as far as the contract, I'll try and get a timeline on uh, how long the seeker will take and uh, yeah, when, a, when they're going to sign a contract. If I'm a businessman looking to sign, sell my property to the county, and then all of this crap has happened with eminent domain, and somebody else approached me, I might be tempted, is what I'm saying. Yeah. There's nobody's name There's, on the dotted line. Right, yes, exactly. They, we don't want to start all over again. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. I, I understand that there's a process and seekers and things like that, but it's not that long a process. It's been a long process to begin with. So I'm just I'm wondering right. where the yeah. money where your mouth is line is. Yeah, but I, I don't oh. believe the mental health process super or not supersedes but predates the Oh I don't think it does either. I think I think it came after the start of the DBWs. Right. So. But it's still been going on a long time. Government takes time. <laughs> Way more than it should. Uh, so, I, yeah, but I will, I'll, I'll find that out and let you guys know. And that uh, concludes my report, unless there's any other questions. What uh, is the holdup with Water Street? Well, originally we had heard that they were going to start digging there in spring. And it is now the end of summer. Yeah, they, uh, they're waiting. To verify the locations where they can move that material, there's some some areas that I don't want to say hot, but the, aren't as clean, right? Aren't as clean as that other has spots. To be so they're they're trying to locate specific sites where this pile has to go, this sure, big pile has to go, and this big pile has to go. They're pretty confident with the. With the real clean material, but they're they're still. And who is they in the the soil and water? Uh, okay. The great and grain one, is leaving. Each that, uh, specific thing has to go. Have to get a letter from longitudinal had to be to be approved from the DC. Yes. They gotta have mm -hmm. a plan for everything. Okay. At a specific it's spot that's going. Yeah, I should think about. Yeah. And one of the one of the big holdups was waiting on DEC to make a decision as to where even the general fill could go because DEC's in the middle of this DEC's regulations changed and it took them forever to get a grasp of their own regulations before they could say yay or nay. It's called the 360 so regs, which is gets into solid. So the hold up is in the the red tape. It's not that there's really. A Problem. It's the problem we knew was there. It's just getting <clears throat> working through. Right. So. And then the saving grace is the the first grant that goes that is applied to this has to be spent by December thirty first of this year. Of this year. So one way or another, God willing, in the river don't rise. There's going to be some dirt moving down there this fall. So we, we still think that some dirt will be moving. Absolutely. Down. Yes. Yeah. The grant. Yeah. 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 It, it has to be done by the first of the year. Right. Okay, so then they better start moving. And, by, and who expect, did you expect the Veterans Plaza to fill to Delaware Street? I did not. Well, I, I've been dealing with this. Kevin a, saved the flower I've been I've been dealing with this a lot. Um, <laughs> our, obviously our storm water system that's inadequate to begin with. On the road. On the road. Um, got overwhelmed. Did I expect that we were going to have that kind of water down there? I don't know what I expected. But the fact of the matter is that um, <clears throat> we had ground that got saturated for four days prior to that one rainstorm that parked over top of us. And I don't care what you got for stormwater infrastructure unless their culverts as big round as this room. You yeah, probably that, weren't going to handle all that water. Until you take Water Street down on that terrain back there, yeah. that, that probably is not going to do yeah, squat. Right, yeah. Yep. And that will, it will, that will get it will serve as a conduit out of Main Street, right. 
once. And it went down fairly down. quickly, yeah. but I just... Yeah. That, I mean, that water that accumulated right there at the end of Liberty Street with right. Water Street done and the connection made between the green space and water and, water and, and the, that property, right. that water wouldn't have stayed there. Right. It would have yeah. ran right through and been gone. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, the green space worked as it was supposed to in many ways. I mean, it was right. not just that, but we knew that that was when it comes down that fast, that was not going to be the be all and end all. Right. I just, I kind of knew it would, you know, it's, it's done it a lot. You know, you get standing water down there. But when I saw it at, the, at Delaware Street, I was like, oh, man. No. <laughs> you know. Yeah, there, like I said, there wasn't a lot that was going to uh, transmit all the water that we got. But it really went down quickly. It did. I mean, the next day it was kind of down to our normal public. Right. Down there, so. Any other questions? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I got to ask if we got any. Any of the committee uh, council reports? Does anybody have any? Uh, building and grounds, Steve, Walt, Patty, and I met on Moore Park. We discussed a plan of action up there, so. To make a designated park park area, right. so okay. we're gonna with the natural boundary. Yeah, that could be um, similar to Austin Lake and Large Rocks. Yeah, designated. Yep. Um, so we're gonna keep moving on with that. How many? Uh, what size park area were you thinking? 10, 15 cars, twenty cars. Ten at the most, probably. Yeah, probably yeah. fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Right when you right go up to the top, yep. the big field is there. We like right where the, there's a turnaround. There. Right. Yeah. Okay. You utilize that and make it an actual um, to the if you're standing on more part to the right of the star. Okay. Any other? Okay. Approval of abstracts. We have to make one uh, uh, change on general fund A. We have to add the $5,450 to that line to um, bring the total up to $11,448.13. But General Fund B, Highway DA, and Highway DB are all the same. I'll make a motion we approve them as amended. Second. Mm -hmm. Got a second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Period. Yes, uh, we'll make an exception to policy. Uh, we had a couple people come in. Uh, we'll offer floor time for a minute for you. Yeah, my name is Alan Fowler, my wife is Audrey. We live on Old Prospect and Audrey, the corner. The majority of the mud and stuff that went down the creamery came through my yard. It washed most of my garden away, which had over three foot of water going through. I have an in-ground pool, which had over four inches over the top of the pool come through. And uh, today I just had to pay almost $1,600 to get the old liner taken out and the muck taken out. There was like two foot of muck in the bottom, the deep end. Um, is there going to be any resolution in the very near future to divert that water away? My, my first comment would be, you know, it's unfortunate, and we're sorry that that happened. It, it periodically happens. My second comment is, you're at the wrong board meeting. They told they sent us up here. The town, the village said to come up here. Why? Why? It's in the village. It's in the village. The village. But it's coming down from the town yeah, on the hill, else. which is in the town, not in the village. Where was it coming from? Do you figure off of more part? It's coming all the way up on top of the mountain. From, off from the Park? quarry on down. Yeah. Anybody that's out of the village, they divert water over on the other street, was it Murray Street, where it goes up there. They paved out or oil and chipped it. They put a trench with stone in it on that side. The water comes down on this side. The water cannot go uphill. I mean, that's common sense. It don't flow uphill. Right? My resolution, Steve, kind of agreed with me. I'm not going to put him in the middle. Tomorrow when we get the gas company to find where the gas line is. On my property line, it's going to be on my property. I'm going to take a backhoe and I'm going to dig a trench. 
to come down. It's not going to change where it's going. It's going to go in a little flexion box there. It's going to hold it. We get a flood like that, it's away from my garden and my pool. <coughs> you know, if I have a problem, it's, this pool has cost me $9,000 to get fixed. Which, which, which house again? Is this right on the corner, old, right. Ogden, uh, old Prospect in Ogden. Is this, um... Okay, was this Underwood's, Underwood's Old House? Underwood's Old House. Yes. Underwood's Old House. Yeah, you speed up this, uh, up this house in the area, right? We've got, we, I spent a lot of money. I probably spent $60,000 fixing it up around there. You know, counting the pool. You know? And we're not in a flood zone, so... Right. right. Yeah. You know, uh, we can't get no insurance on it. Are you, Fun children don't got to cover. Are you familiar at all with is your home where the water's coming no, from? No, yes. they want to cover pool. There is, <clears throat> there is uh, an existing drainage ditch. It's almost, it, it's probably an intermittent stream runs most of the year. It comes down um, off of the hill somewhere up in there. I didn't walk the entire thing, but it comes down off the hill behind the houses on Upper Old Prospect. There's an old Joe system Patrick's in there. Yes. There's an old system and behind Brainerd's house. Yeah, yeah, it's got drainage there. Yep. It's old railroad ties and corrugated steel put on top, which is caving in because it's all rotten. But that is village, isn't it? Yes. That is village. Yes. There, but the problem of the water is coming from the town, not the village. So I'm in the village, I'm going to cure the problem on my property. Once I find out where the gas lines are, I'm going to dig it. Town wants it or village. County, okay. state wants to take and put some stone in there, make it like the state's been doing along, like 206 and stuff, which works great. You know, a culvert does not work. You know, you got a culvert this big. Well, when you've got a million gallons per minute coming down through here, it's not going to take. So, did something, was there work done on Murphy Hill? Yeah. When, that, that, that changed the course of the water? Is yeah, that, that and I think, I think the quarry and the people all the way up, which is in the town, when you go all the way up to Ogden, you keep around going, I think it's like the last house, they took over the water to go to the right, you know, go west. Right? And that goes in that stream. That's there. Which the stream runs 24 7, 365. It hasn't, since we've been there, it hasn't stopped running. You know? But with this big rain we had, ground saturated and stuff, goes over the bank. My backyard, you know, yard on going toward the neighbor going up toward Ogden, you know, up that way. You know, there was there were two foot of water in the shallow spot. The one spot was almost four foot coming down there. The park across the street, across <clears throat> Old Prospect, right? Between that and 206, the water was this deep. It went up the bank. You know, then it flooded around all that garbage and muck and stuff. I got onions down by the cream that came out of my garden. You know, and plants. You know, I spent a lot of money. I have pride in that. Yeah. Uh, you know? So we've. But I'm going to take care of the problem myself. If the state, or town, county, village, town wants to take and jump in, go right ahead. I'm going to take and do it. I'm not going to look for a permit or anything. If somebody wants to find me, fine. That's up to the village, though, because you're not in, in the but, town, so that's not us. That's yeah. the village. But I'm just saying. Just so you, just so you know. But I'm as going far to, as I'm going to solve the town water problem. Well, it, it may be that a town water problem. We can look at that, but the thing is, you're in the village, so if you're solving the, the, the town, you, we can't give you blessing or not to do right. what you want. But I'm going to solve not. the township water problem. Well, that's probably not the whole township I water problem, but yeah. I know what you're but saying. But it's over by me. Yeah. We will, that's where it comes from. What we're going to have to do is, we're going to have to do some uh, investigating during the next event to see if... How long is that going to be? <coughs> tell me, well, if you could tell me when the next right. event's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. That, you yeah, follow what I mean? Gonna, that's what I want to take care of now. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. if we have well, We can find like that, where it's coming, where, where it started. If something, it we did on, if something we did on Murphy Hill changed the course of the water, that's, I don't think, as far Hill. as I know, we Which just... Which is in the town. The but as far as I know, all we did was <coughs> stone and paint but, stone it. We it, didn't change it. didn't work because water will not run uphill into the, that ditch. The, the, the quarry, their, their water runoff is that's a DC. But 
On Murray Hill Road, yeah, right, right on, on the west side of it. We stone it because of the water. You did it a trick. You put stone in. The water comes down on the east side. It can't run uphill to get in that, that ditch. I know. I know it can't run uphill. You know, but the thing is, I know somebody has no water so they can do that. But physics word will not run uphill. Yeah. I, and, and, yeah. Yeah. We understand your concern. Yeah, we appreciate you coming in. Yeah. And but what but what we will offer is we will investigate and if there's something yeah. the no, town no, no, no. I know the York watershed is involved in. Yeah. yeah. If there's something the yeah. town needs to address and can address it, right. we will address it. Yeah, go up there. I can't survey. guarantee you when, but we yeah. will we will But that's why I gotta divert it onto my side of my property. Right. So yeah. don't come through the middle of my property. Right. I gotta and, protect and my investment. I'm not I, I don't blame you for doing that at I'm all. A, I'm, I'm a veteran, I'm disabled, I'm on a fixed hour, and it's cost me a lot of money. I just don't want to see you get in hot water with the village because you're going to do it whether they do it or not. I don't care. I don't want to see you get fined for that because we can't say yes, go ahead. You know, you know what I'm I saying? love Steve. I Steve's a good code enforcement. You know, I know him for a while now. He's a very fair guy. You know, but I gotta do what I gotta do to protect my property. Well, and I don't know why the village would have a problem with you doing what you need to no. do. But I'm not changing the course rules. of the water. You know, it comes down here, goes in that culvert, right? And like in the front by my uh, uh, prospect avenue uh, driveway. But okay, so, on, so what did the so, village say to you, sir? <coughs> Big pardon? Huh? What, what, when the village what said was your here, interaction what with the village? What is my interaction? No, what was your interaction with the village? What did they tell you? We went through the whole thing. They checked. The state workers have been around. Uh, even the state workers said there's something got to be done. Yeah. And he told me about the you know, hill. The, the, the issue is that your property is on the village. Right. Okay. But it's not so, in the floodplain. I, I understand that. I understand that. But. <clears throat> Next the grounds around, around, around your house belong so to the village. So we have no nothing to do with that now. Above that, yes, we'll take That's a look at That's where it's coming from, is a town. I understand right. that, but they, they, they both, both municipalities have to get involved in this. Right, everybody. The, yeah. the town, or the village, the town, county, and state. Yeah. Did, again. did the village explain anything to you when you were down there this evening? No. Okay. Yeah, you know, they so, talked. The mayor talked nice to us and said, "You got to come up here to the town meeting." Okay. So, because they, they, he realized that up on the township coming down. That's where it started that's from. Right. right. And <clears throat> one of the one of the things that's happening is that we are we are looking at that drainage system. Okay. Because. Right. And again, I'll preface this with what I was talking about earlier. The rainstorm that we had the other day was a bit of a freak of nature. Oh, of course. Okay. So um, you probably can't size any kind of a system to handle the amount of water. I know the state have. took what marking to put uh, from the park across to the brook. To right. Put so, so that's that's one of the things that we're taking a look right. at. Okay. The state apparently. And you've I, done I your, haven't. You've done your job. I haven't confirmed right. this with the state, but I believe right. that's what they are going to do. They want to get a, a sluice from the corner of the park, the low corner of the park, right. down into Third Brook, which, is, which is, is fine. The state, the state and county has got a mess right down there by the creek. Right. And the creek is always up for an excuse to get out of town. And in the meantime, mm -hmm. right, in the meantime, um, the state is also putting bigger culverts right down there at the corner, mm -hmm. okay, to try to, uh, and better fix that ditch to try to handle that. So, um, what the village needs to look at and figure out is, first of all, that sluice that runs up underneath your garden, okay, was that put in there as a, a municipal stormwater system? We don't it know. 70, 80 years ago. Right. Yeah. Whether, whether, right. whether it was or wasn't, um, uh, we're working with CWC to do a stormwater inventory, right. okay, and once that is complete, mm -hmm. I already saw, after I met with you the other day, I met with, um, mm -hmm. or I, I spoke with our village engineer who was working with the consultant. I know, I've been keeping okay. a check on things. Yep. You, you, you've been on for it. Yep. Yep. 
So um, I, I told them to make that a high priority. Let's make sure this isn't included in their inventory because mm -hmm. they're not going to do the whole village in, in this go -round. Now, here's another thing. Okay. So on, on Ogden Street coming up, by, you know, where there's that little bit of mm -hmm. swell there yeah. for the water run down on my pro you know, from my property and right. on the road, uh, 15, 20 feet from the high riser, there's a hole this big. It drops down this far, mm -hmm. right? And if you're looking up Ogden, right? You look at the hole, here's the culvert pipe over here. You got, you know, the gate right. yeah, yeah. So right here. So the catch basin's gotten washed up. Oh, yeah, it must run, it, right. you know, tip right. of wood pipe. Yeah. Water can find its way around. I've never the seen so, water run down that hill so, like it did this storm. Mm -hmm. And I lived on Prospect for a lot, a lot of years, and I thought, oh my God, when I saw it. I Ultimately, saw it. what I'm trying to explain to you is that we, you know, as a, as a village rep, if I can put my hat on, village hat on for a minute, mm -hmm. We are working at trying to come right. up with a solution to the problem. Right. See, I just don't want to take a chance of, you know, the way it's been raining and stuff, you know, right. the freak storm, you know, if I take and dig up on the line, it's not hurting. I'm not, I'm not chained in the course of the water. You know, it's just where that catch basin is. Just trying to convert it. I, I get you that. Know, and maybe that'll spread it out a little bit more. Right. You know, where that culvert is, it goes by my pool and garden. No. You know, that could stay there because you know, if it goes over, because I would dig it down like six foot, so that stream can drop into it and run down and, you know, put some boulders in there, rocks and stuff, slow it down, and probably by the time it gets close to the end, it'll be cleared up. You know, you get the sand and dirt, it'll settle out quite a bit. So, you know, ultimately, I guess, you know, like I said, the point I'm trying to make is that we saw, I saw firsthand the day oh, yeah. that I was there the night that it was, that it was happening. Yeah. And we understand that it's a critical area, and we understand that needs, something needs to be done. Right. Now, it might not be get, get done as fast as you want, because it never does, right. but we're working the issue. Well, I, I know that. I know it's being worked on. You know, the time limit, you know, I don't want to get my pool done and it happens again. Right. And I'll be, in plain words, I'll be really pissed, you know. Spend $9,000 to get the pool done. You know, I don't have that kind of money. You know, you know, I'm on a fixed income, and you know, I don't know if any of you are, you probably all work, you know, but even working, you're still on a fixed income. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, you make $50,000 a year, but you got to spend $80,000. That don't work, you know, but like I say, with the trench, you agree with me, you kind of agree with me with that trench. I think I dig it there nice. Well, I understand what you're trying to do with it, um, but... I guess the only the only caution that I would give you is that you, you potentially are going to do what everybody else has done, and you just pass the issue on down the line. If you get no, because if you get the water me. past your house, then it's somebody else's issue. No, well, it's not going to come down the same spot. Um, I, I hate to cut you off, and appreciate you coming in. We are going as as far as the town. Mm -hmm. We're going to look research of what the town can do to help mitigate. Or that, either FEMA or grant above you. Uh, well, we don't even know what the problem is yet. Um, it's got to be surveyed. Sure, right. So we will we will look at ways of finding out what process we need to take to. Or get a hold of Army Corps of Engineers. Yeah. They can come to survey and they'll tell you exactly <clears throat> what's got to be done. Yeah. Now, before yeah. you leave, can I have you and your wife sign in just for the minute? Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry. Sure. Them? Well, as you know, Steve is both village and town, so if he was up there and he knows what it is, he mm -hmm. will take care of it on both ends and report back to us what we can do. No. He's yeah. doing a job. Yeah. I like Steve. You know, I never say anything bad. We, we, yeah. you know, if I need to do anything, I ask if I need a permit and this and that, you know, whatever, and I do it. You know, but I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry that that happened, and I hope we don't have any more of that right I now. Know. <laughs> yeah. People have been telling me, I have been asking about it. But people have been telling me, I'll see you around top of it. <laughs> yeah. Good yep. job, man. Okay. We'll keep working it. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Good luck. Yes, I thank you for your time. I thank you all. Thank yeah. you. And thank you. Uh, okay, is there anybody else? No, don't forget to no more guests? <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, uh, I would. Uh, we did that already. We did that. So I would listen to a motion to go into executive session to discuss a motion that we Second. <laughs>
Motion is made and seconded to go into executive session. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. Nice ball for the state.